Milestones of the Century. Imagine Oklahoma's state flower, the mistletoe, being transplanted in the asphalt of Broadway. So it was when Florence Ziegfeld, the great producer, brought Will Rogers, a plain Oklahoman himself, out of the hinterlands to the big city stage. Will Rogers took root and grew. Here we see him with Tom Mix, another cowboy great. From stage to films, the rustic comedian rose swiftly on a wave of popular demand. Playing polo with his sons, he managed to merge a Hollywood pastime with his own love of horses and rugged fun. On trips to Europe, he became America's goodwill ambassador. The title was not bestowed by official proclamation or by a press agent's whim. It was spontaneously and unanimously given. Here was a man who did not win people by changing his tune to fit the occasion. He won their respect and trust by consistently being Will Rogers. And on occasion, as a good man is likely to do, he would sit quietly taking his own counsel. Still, he never lost contact with people, old or young. His newspaper column kept his millions of fans in on his opinions, wherever he happened to be. On the New Deal, he had this to say. Hello. This is, uh, this is taken in the, uh, in the, uh, general, part of General, uh, Johnson's uh, NRA headquarters. I have been here all night and all today working with him on uh, a comedian's code, code for comedians. And we've had quite an argument. He wants to include the senators and the congressmen in this, and I'm fighting against that uh, because us amateurs do not want to be classed with the faithful. In that fertile valley of fantasy called Hollywood, he jokes with Douglas Fairbanks and Tom Mix. He had just been appointed honorary mayor of Beverly Hills, and this was the reaction provoked by that terrible burden of state. In 1935, Will Rogers' life-loving gusto led him again to the free and open sky. Here with Wiley Post, he prepares for the flight, which was to be his last. On August 15th, in Alaska, the failure of a plane's engine ended their lives. Here, the bodies of Will Rogers and Wiley Post, reclaimed from the fog-shrouded crash site, were flown home. The motorcade rolled quietly away. A silence had come to the voice that had once brought clarity to a complicated world. Thousands came to pay homage to a life that by its very being had been homage unto itself. Will Rogers' shrine stands high among the milestones of the century.